All right, Jeremy, your best CCNA tip, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, oh. You can't spring that on me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Network Chuck. I am literally on top of a mountain. So, I met him. <laughs> I met this guy here, Jeremy Chara. If you don't know who that is, first of all, crawl out from under that rock you're, you're living under. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. If you're new to the CCNA world, he is one of the most well-known and well-loved CCNA trainers out there. He does, you know, a bunch of other different topics, but CCNA is what he's known for. And why is it so special that I met him? Well, because I watched his videos to get my CCNA. I started my journey with Jeremy Chara. He is a big reason and in a large part, the main reason I'm doing what I'm doing. Okay, story time. Story time. So I started my network engineer journey back in 2013. I was on the help desk. I was making barely enough to scrape by with my family. And I set my sights on becoming a network admin or network engineer. And for me, that meant getting my CSENT and then, you know, passing ICND2, the next test and getting my CCNA. So I got my book and then I got some video training and it was CBT Nuggets and it was Jeremy Chara CSENT training, ICND1. Now for me, and I'm sure like many of you, the CCNA was, a mountain, man. It was like a, a huge task, a huge obstacle. It, it, well, not obstacle, it's just this, this crazy big thing you had to climb. So the, the exam topics are, when you look at those, you, you just can't get help but get that feeling of just being overwhelmed. So many things to memorize and learn and study and become efficient in. I'm sorry, proficient in. <laughs> those words always get mixed up. So for me, that's, that's what it felt like. And it just, it, it was overwhelming. So back in 2013, I started my network engineer journey, my CCNA journey. I started climbing that CCNA mountain with Jeremy Chara. Now, I, I can't tell you how incredibly cool it is. Just amazing, I'm, I'm geeking out, <laughs> I'm like a fanboy, to climb a literal mountain with Jeremy Chara, because that's exactly what we did. If you follow me on the socials, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff, you'll know I went to CBT Nuggets headquarters to hang out with all the wonderful, amazing, awesome trainers and uh, one day we decided to go hike up a mountain. And a little backstory to this, I, um, I had the great idea of, oh, I'm gonna climb a mountain with Jeremy Chara. The CCNA is kind of like a mountain because I, I love analogies. <laughs> and I thought, oh, I'll just ask him CCNA tips as we go up. Now, I didn't warn him before this, so he kind of got caught off guard. So Jeremy, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I did manage to get a few tips and it was, and they're awesome, of course, because it's Jeremy Chara and uh, all with the backdrop of a mountain to, you know, illustrate my analogy. <laughs> so anyways, here's that first tip. It's all about knowing the concepts, not knowing the commands, know the concepts. Be able to put the puzzle together and you own the CCNA. Bam. There you go. So I've, I've followed Jeremy's training for a while now and I've probably heard this tip before, but man, is it still just the best advice. So here's my two cents, my takeaway. I'm assuming for most of you, probably not all of you, but most of you, you're studying for the CCNA to get a better job or to make to or to perform better at your current job. <laughs> now, yeah, you're, you're studying the CCNA so you can uh, take the exam, pass the exam and get that certificate. That's a sweet moment. I mean, that's you can't beat that. But that's not that shouldn't be your end game, right? Like you, you don't just want that piece of paper. You actually want to learn how to become a network engineer right? Like you want to be able to come into the office, right? And, and, and you know, know that you're a network admin and, and, and sit down and, and fix issues and, and be that wizard, be that, you know, maybe even a unicorn. <laughs> See the Python video for that. But you, you want to be that guy or girl. You, you want to make more money. You want to, you want to be awesome at your job. That's the end game, right? That's why you're studying the CCNA. Now for many of us, and this happened to me, and, and you'll get, you'll get what's called exam brain, or what I call it, where you're just focusing on 
passing that exam. You're just studying to pass the exam. So you're, you're, you're taking a ton of uh, practice tests and you may even be, you know, jumping in the, the, the dangerous waters of brain dumps to, you know, memorize the exam questions. Now, let me tell you something. As the CCNA is starting to be revised over and over and over, I mean, we're on version 3.0 now. With this revision of CCNA, Cisco, I believe, has finally nailed it. See, when I learned CCNA, it was back in early 2000, and it was... It was really easy. There really wasn't that much to learn. There wasn't even an ICND-1 and an ICND-2. It was just an all-in-one CCNA. And it was one of those, if you read the book, you're pretty much bound to pass the exam. Then Cisco made it harder and harder and harder and kept adding more and more content to it until they finally arrived at what they now call ICND-1 3.0, which is the revision that came out this year, 2016. You can't just study to pass the exam. You have to actually know your stuff now. Kudos to Cisco because they have made this exam very, very much like real life. Uh, I mean, no test can be like really real life, right? But they do their best to make sure they're testing you to make sure you actually understand the concepts. Yeah, you used to be able to memorize a few terms and maybe a few CLI commands to go along with that, and, and you would do fine, but not anymore, man. They, it almost feels like they're trying to trip you up with the exams, like they're trying to just Oh, we're gonna we're gonna get these guys. We're gonna make them fail the exam. We don't want them to, to succeed. That's not true though. They, they really want you to succeed, and they want the exam to truly test if you actually know the concepts, if you actually know how to be a network engineer. So I believe that with the CCNA version three now, you can't just memorize. You have to truly know the concepts. You can't just memorize commands. You can't just memorize terms. You have to. Understand how it all works, how spanning tree works, how subnetting works, how routing protocols work, and how they converge. All of these amazing things. Because the, the exam is going hit to you, hit you with a question that might trip you up if you don't understand how to you know, reverse engineer the question or, or think outside the box. Now, I love that as we were about to go up the mountain, uh, or it's actually called a butte, but to me it's a mountain. I, I don't get lost in the terms here. Uh, there was a sign that said this was the easy path. Like no one the responded either. Easy route. That's funny. See? Now it it was not too bad, but I I was breathing hard as we were going up. <sighs> uh, and of course, I have to make the analogy, the correlation that there is no easy path for the CCNA. Well, I take that back. There is an easy path, and there are a term for guys that we in the industry use for guys who. Uh, take the easy path to get their CCNA. They're called paper CCNAs because they used a brain dump or whatever, and they just memorize the exam questions and they pass the exam. But when they get their job, if they can even pass the technical interview, when they get their job, they, they can't do it. They get to a command line and they freeze because they didn't actually understand the theory, the concepts, that they didn't lab it up. Are you insane? And they're, they're just, they're as thin as paper. Now this next tip from Mr. Jeremy Chara, I wanna give you a bit of a, <laughs> prep for it because I kind of surprised him with it. Now, going up a mountain can be rough, just like the CCNA can be rough. As you start your journey and you, and you start to make that climb, you, you're going to get tired, right? And, and, and you're going to hit steep areas that are, are discouraging, like, oh man, I, I just, I can't do this. Maybe it's IPv6, maybe it's subnetting, like you're just really having a hard time grasping subnetting. Maybe it's NAT, PAT, uh, OSPF, EIGRP. You're going to hit those snags in your learning. It, it happens to all of us. So don't feel discouraged about that. There will be times of discouragement. It'll happen. Just make sure that when those hit, know that there's, uh, it's too cheesy. I can't, I can't do <laughs> no, it. Oh, hey, the rainbow's fading. You know, oh, hey, just, that just, just do a floss dance. <laughs> <laughs> now Jeremy's tip, I think the, the, what he meant to say was, there, there's this, the, the, the rainbow, <laughs> which, yeah, it's a little bit cheesy, Jeremy. <laughs> but what he said was was true and, and golden. It's awesome because as you're studying for your CCNA, you gotta keep your you gotta have the summit mindset. Keep your eye on where you're going. There, I remember when I passed my CCNA. Oh my gosh, it was the best. I actually took ICND two. It was the uh, the day before my second daughter was born. So I mean, I didn't know that at the time, but I knew it was getting pretty close. So I was really like trying to study as hard as I could before the baby was born, because I knew I'd have no time after that, at least for a little bit. But you know, when you finish the exam and you you know you click and you're waiting for your results, you're just like you're sweating bullets, man. You just can't believe it. You're like ah, and then when it comes up, you passed. Oh, you passed. That is such a, a relief. Uh, it's so satisfying to know that you did it. So that in and of itself is is motivation. Uh, to, to get your CCNA. 
but also the, the other areas in your life, that, uh, the reasons you're getting your CCNA. Maybe you want a better life for your family. Uh, you want that promotion, you, you want it, or you're just, you're just starting out. You want to become a network engineer. You want to get into IT. You got to have those goals set and in your mind. So when you get discouraged, I would, you know, I would even write those down, keep them somewhere. Maybe you write them on a post-it or, or write them on a, a piece of paper and just tack it to your wall or put it on your mirror. So have it there so that when you do get discouraged, because it's going to happen, like Jeremy said, you will <laughs> wheel. You will, that was my Texan coming out. You will have times of discouragement. There's no doubt about that, but prepare for that. Have your goals in mind, have your rewards in mind. What are you trying to do? And then, I, Jeremy didn't say this on our hike, but I uh, jumped into a CSENT training and his first video is just, oh my gosh. If you've never heard Jeremy's training, um, go, go right now, go to CBT Nuggets, I got a link below. Sign up for a seven day free trial and just listen to the first few uh, nuggets, we call them nuggets, the videos, and just get that motivation. It's, it's, it's awesome, just go check it out, trust me. So when dealing with discouragement, I think the best way to deal with it is to almost avoid it. And how do you avoid that? I'm taking this from Jeremy, you have to fall in love with the technology. You have to fall in love with networking, like you, you wanna love what you're doing. You are good at what you love and you will love what you're good at. Now, starting out with networking, you, you may, it's, it may be really hard, and, and, and we're all human, and we don't necessarily love what's really hard for us. If it doesn't come to us naturally, or if we don't get it right away, it's not something we're going to love, really, you know? <laughs> so it takes time. But I love what he said. You are good at what you love, and you will love what you are good at. Oh, man, I love that, because there are so many things with the CCNA and networking and, and, and beyond that I didn't like at first. But once I became good at it, once I became proficient at it, I could go in and just become a wizard. It was fun, man. Like, it was really fun. So when I hit a snag, or when I hit a snag and learning the next thing, it wasn't as hard because I was having fun. So it helped me push past that obstacle. There is something magical that happens when you start putting the puzzle pieces together and realizing that you are good at it. So with the CCNA, and with learning the concepts and, and, and dealing with discouragement, the best way you can combat that, and I'm gonna steal this from uh, Duan Lightfoot, uh, he's the guy behind the lab everyday movement. I love that idea. Uh, just get in and play with the technology. Spin a lab up. You got packet tracer, you got GNS3, you might have an actual physical lab. Play with the technology, learn it, build it, tear it down, break it, have fun with it. Once you figure out how to have fun with it, you'll fall in love with it. And that's where the success comes in. So anyways, so you may be here at the CCNA mountain you're about to climb up, or you're maybe halfway up and you don't know which direction to go, uh, well, go up, buddy. <laughs> you, may, um, you may have to backtrack and learn a few more things and climb back up. Hey, no big deal, dust yourself off and keep going. Maybe the CCNA is not your mountain right now. Maybe it's the MCSA, maybe it's the VCP, maybe it's CCMP, whatever it is, all this applies. Anyways, I'd like to thank, uh, first of all, Jeremy Char. Thank you so much for your awesome training that got me started in this industry, that kept me going. Thank you for helping me climb the CCNA mountain and then also for climbing a literal mountain with me and offering these awesome tips. And we also did a few other interviews as well, so uh, those are coming up. So more Jeremy Chara here on this channel on Network Chuck. Anyways guys, hit that like button if you haven't already. Uh, subscribe, join the team. We are all working, learning, striving to have better lives, to become better engineers, and to just kill it in IT. I mean, we're gonna become beasts, wizards, unicorns. It's, good. it's, it's so fun. So come join us. Come join us in the fun. Anyways, I'm about to say I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. It's just a habit of mine, but uh, that's for my nuggets. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, well, that's about it. I'll catch you guys later.